From a dilapidated Havana mansion run by a nearly blind legendary ballerina, Cuba is turning out some of the world's finest ballet dancers who are hotly sought by leading international companies. Trained by 83-year-old ballet great Alicia Alonso at the National Ballet of Cuba, these dancers blend joyful Cuban sensuality and a superb classical training combining Russian, French and English techniques. The combination has stunned audiences and won them critical acclaim. Their success reflects the remarkable development of an elitist art form in communist-run Cuba, an island of 11 million where defections have added to a drain of talent. Jose Manuel Carreno, a principal with the American Ballet Theatre of New York, has been called a cross between a cat-like animal and a prince by the company's director. The Cuban dancer credits his training in his homeland for much of his success. He won the 2004 Dance Magazine Award for contributions to ballet. The US magazine praised his incredible magnetism and astonishing technique and said the 36-year-old was a sensitive patient I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Cuban Fidel yeah, Castro, yeah, yeah. who has seen the young dancer perform, said he enjoyed the show. But it is the name of one of ballet's greatest, Alicia Alonso, that still resonates in the dance world. She danced in New York in the 1940s and virtually owned the role of Giselle at her prime. Despite failing eyesight due to detached retinas, she danced until she was almost 70. With the support of Cuban leader Fidel Castro since 1959, Alonso and her former husband Fernando Alonso turned the National Ballet of Cuba into a world-class company, which she continues to direct even though she does not see and has trouble walking. For Alonso, the gift of dance her ballet students get is something they will always cherish, regardless of whether they pursue it as a professional career. At a rehearsal of Cinderella, a Cuban concoction based on Johann Strauss's score, dancers soared through the air practicing jumps on the linoleum of her company's dance studio on the top floor of a century-old mansion. With her trademark scarf and dark glasses, Alonso directed the rehearsal from an armchair with the aid of an assistant who whispered in her ear. Recently, Alonso toured the United States with new dancers in her troupe and impressed audiences with an exuberant version of Don Quixote in New York and other cities.